Today's video is about general information regarding vitamin D. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, health related explanations are provided via videos which are released every week. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new videos are released. This week's video gives general information about vitamin D. What are vitamins? These are micronutrients which are required in very small quantities. Micronutrients in diet because if they are not supplied in diet, they cannot be produced by the body itself. So that's the definition of vitamin. So these are very small quantities. These are not like carbohydrates which are required in large quantities. So these vitamins are required in microgram quantities, but they are very essential because if they are not supplied, your body cannot produce by itself. So that's why these are called vitamins, vital amines. Anyway, so vitamin D is one such vitamin. This belongs to the group of fat soluble vitamins. Okay. So vitamin D is available in plant derivatives as ergocalciferol and in animal derivatives as cholecalciferol. Among them, cholecalciferol is more powerful, more active of the two. So animal source are, is a better source than plant source for vitamin D. But vitamin D is peculiar in that the vitamin D can be synthesized in the body depending upon exposure to sunlight. Your skin can generate this vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. So this is a peculiar vitamin where even without diet but on exposure to sunlight you can produce vitamin D. Okay. What is the function of vitamin D? Vitamin D is essential in calcium and phosphate metabolism. So it is essential for absorption of calcium from the intestines. So calcium and phosphate with the help of vitamin D are absorbed. So it is essential for mineralization of bones. So bones are soft. When it is formed, they are soft. By calcium, addition of or mineralization of calcium, your bone becomes you no know, hard and strong for this vitamin d is essential vitamin d is also essential in recovering of this vitamin from the kidneys so as the kidneys filter and lose this calcium the calcium and phosphate are reabsorbed from the kidneys by action of vitamin d this vitamin d as i said is formed in the skin but it requires activation in two steps in liver and kidney that's why sometimes because it is synthesized and released from the kidney, it is sometimes thought of as even as an hormone. But anyway, so this vitamin D is required essentially for calcium and phosphate metabolism. And this also has other non-skeletal effects. Now, nowadays the research is you know, more oriented towards finding these non-skeletal effects. But the predominant effects are in the calcium and phosphate metabolism because calcium is pre present all throughout probably vitamin d also has effects on other parts of the body but the main effects are on the calcium and phosphate thereby on the skeleton bone and muscles as i said since it is a fat soluble vitamin there are vitamin d stores so vitamin d is stored in the liver so the important implication of this is there can be overdose of vitamin d Water soluble vitamins, if they are taken in excess, can be excreted via urine. But fat soluble vitamins, because they have stores, if they are taken in excess, they can also lead to toxicity. We have to keep that in mind whenever we take unregulated supplements with vitamin D. So in you know, skeleton or bone formation, in bone growth, in bone maturity, all these stages and in repair, all these stages require vitamin D. So that's why vitamin D becomes even more important in children because they are growing. Their bones are growing. The new bones are forming. So it becomes even more important in young children and young adults as compared to older individuals. But in older individuals also for you know, repair processes you require vitamin D. And in older individuals Vitamin D formation from the skin is impaired. So ultimately for them also vitamin D becomes important. Vitamin D is more important in children as well as in older adults. 
what is the important cause of vitamin D deficiency? Lack of sunlight exposure is the most important cause because we require your arms, feet and face to be exposed in the sunlight for roughly around 15 minutes at least 3 times a week regularly for enough vitamin D exposure. But again, this exposure also is different among different individuals based on the place where they are living in as well as their skin color. So as you move away from equator, this becomes little different. And as the skin color is darker, the vitamin D formation is lesser. So for us Indians, the exposure times may be even higher. As civilization advances, we want to cover ourselves we want to no, not get exposed to sun, especially in the hot sun. The vitamin D formation becomes lesser and lesser and this leads to vitamin D deficiency. So what are the effects of vitamin D deficiency? So as vitamin D is less, your mineralization becomes defective. If the bones are growing, as in case of children, this can lead to rickets where your bones might be bent or they may be swollen. So this is a disease of growing bones. So vitamin D deficiency in growing bones results in rickets. If the person is older, the bones have already formed. Ultimately, bones are undergoing constant metabolism. Vitamin D leads to problems in bones even in adults. This leads to a condition called as osteomalacia. And even in older individuals, there is osteoporosis, weakening of bones happening because of the old age itself. This might aggravate this process and as I said already, the repair process if there is a fracture in old age due to the osteoporosis itself, the repair process also becomes defective if the person is vitamin D deficient. And in pregnancy, if there is vitamin D deficiency, it can also lead to vitamin D deficiency in the baby which is going to be born. So all these are effects of vitamin D deficiency. There is a large volume of evidence emerging. So apart from the bones, there are other effects related to vitamin D deficiency. But this extra skeletal effects ranging from skin health to heart health to brain health, the evidence needs to be much more forthcoming. So in future years, vitamin D deficiency can have other manifestations which we don't yet know conclusively. So ultimately in children they can have bony abnormalities. In older adults you can have muscle aches, pains, weakness. So all these can be symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. If vitamin D deficiency is very severe it can lead to lower levels of calcium which can lead to tetany or spasms which can happen in children as well as in adults. This can also lead to seizures if the deficiency is very severe. They are especially prominent in young children. Vitamin D deficiency can also lead to seizures. So how do we diagnose vitamin D deficiency? Essentially, you have to do blood tests. These should not be done only for vitamin D because vitamin D is closely related to the calcium and phosphate metabolism. So the calcium, phosphate levels, vitamin D, other tests, blood tests like alkaline phosphatase, all these should be done to assess the level of vitamin D deficiency. So it is not enough that you check for vitamin D and if it is low, you start treating. You need to have a holistic evidence to know about vitamin D deficiency. You might sometimes require x-rays, especially if there is bony deformities. How to treat? Vitamin D preparations are available as oral preparations, also as injectable preparations. By taking vitamin D, often in conjunction with calcium and phosphate because vitamin D is closely related to calcium and phosphate metabolism. Sometimes you may need to take calcium and phosphate also in addition to vitamin D. What happens often is vitamin D is taken unregulated. No, just by ourselves without proving deficiencies we tend to take vitamin D and especially without calcium and phosphate supplementation this can lead to even more problems so vitamin D is a drug so should be taken only on doctor's prescription after proof of deficiency and probably often with calcium supplements. 
So if we do this, this deficiency can be easily treated. As I said, vitamin D is a vitamin which has storage forms also. If you take unregulated or for a longer duration without supervision, this can even lead to toxicity which can have disastrous consequences. Hopefully, this video would have given a fair idea about vitamin D and its functions and its deficiency. If you found this video useful, kindly share it among your friends and relatives. If you want to see such videos, kindly subscribe to this channel. Till we meet again, bye.